Hey everyone, it's uh, Pat here from Trick Trades. I want to do a free video lesson here on how to set up your uh, your TC2000 charts uh, for doing uh, your nightly scans, uh, making your watch list. That that's the most important thing that uh, you can do is do a nightly scan. Uh, don't like don't be like some of these people out there that just look for uh, gappers in the morning. They fall out of bed at uh, 9 a.m. and look at a couple gappers and then wing it from there. Your nightly scans are extremely important, and this is how I set up my charts to do a nightly scan. So this is how I have them set up. I always have it uh, set for the four time frame because I want to see my intraday action, uh, the 15 minute chart giving the overall kind of short term trend, uh, the daily chart, and then the weekly. Uh, the weekly is very important too, guys. Don't don't uh, disregard the weekly because it'll show you uh, the real big picture, right? That's what we want to see. And there's there's going to be lots of levels of resistance that you may not necessarily catch on the daily because it's a little, um, little looser, right? This really tightens things up. You can also go to the monthly, but uh, for the most part, I don't use the monthly very often. It's uh, it's mainly just the, the weekly, daily, 15, and the one. So... Um, Let's uh, let's get into it. I'll show you how to how how to build this uh, from scratch. So you come down to the bottom, you'll see this little white uh, new layout tab. Click on that, and you have a whole bunch of other uh, types of setups that you can do. Go to the to four time frame, okay? <clears throat> so this is the uh, general layout that it comes with. Uh, this is the stock layout, I guess. So now we need to set this up so that it's actually usable. Uh, I don't use bar charts. Uh, they, they don't really give enough information. So let's get into it here. So we're just going to build the first chart, okay? So you can set that to a one minute. It, it doesn't necessarily matter. The time frame right now doesn't matter. So go in, right click on the chart. Um, let's add a couple indicators. Uh, my volume, of course you need volume. You can shrink that down a bit. That's, that's a little much. Um, so now we have our volume and then on this, I'm going to want a VWAP and with the VWAP, right click it, edit it. I stay with orange and then I like to use dashes just to keep it separated. Press OK. Now we got a basic setup going. Uh, now let's go into how the chart actually looks. So go up to this here, the chart properties tab. Go to price and style first. So the high, low, close bar, we don't want that. We want candlestick. Okay. Now the one color, no, we don't want that. We want I like the open versus close. The net change uh, at first glances can be uh, deceiving. So we want to make things the uh, the most easy as possible. So go open versus close. Okay. Now I leave my up bars unfilled. Okay. Now also show yesterday's close line. I like that yellow. So we got that. Keep it dashed. Show today's open line. Yes. Click on that for a yes. That's that's very important because that's going to show a uh, key level of support and resistance as well uh, during intraday. So now we go to pre and post data. I go to always. Oops, go back in. Now color and grid. OK, now I leave it black. I don't you can put it any color you want. I get rid of these lines. I like a nice clean chart. OK, uh, I like to leave the watermark on. That's fine. And all the scaling is fine. Date margin, leave that alone. Um, anything else here? Comparisons. This is kind of the nice thing. Uh, you can compare it to the SPY or the triple Qs or the Dow. You can uh, put in the IWM, any ticker you want if you want to compare uh, to a, uh, the sector index, the industry index. Um, I, I don't use this all the time, but that's how I... Uh, how I kind of how I kind of do this. So, like I said, get those off, make it nice and clean. You can leave them on. That's completely up to you. That's preference. So, okay. Now we got a chart. Now we got a basic chart. Okay. Um, I like to keep my intraday chart very clean. We'll add a couple more indicators here. So, right click, 
go to add plot. I use the exponential nine. So you click on that. Now it's on. Add plot. And then I use the exponential 50. Okay. Now I like these a different color. My exponential nine. I use this color. And then I leave that pink. Um, on my intraday, I leave it pink, but I change it on my uh, on my uh, on my daily charts. Um, so this is this is all I use for indicators on my daily chart or my intraday chart. So now what we can do is you want to um, do, 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 do okay. Sorry, go back in here. And then all of this stuff, apply all charts in this layout. Oh yeah, and it didn't do anything. That's all right. Um, so now let's, uh, um, now we have a basis point here. So let's save it. There's another way you can do this. So save chart. And then let's call this um, black VWAP. 950. Save. Okay. So now it's just easier if we go into to change this and get a good base for it. Uh, go into the folder tab, and then this will show all of your uh, your charts that you you have uh, made yourself or the ones that are already pre-made. So let's go to the black 950. Do that here, black 950, do that here, black 950. Okay, now, now, we can, now we can start customizing all of this. Okay, now on the 15 minute chart, um, I'm going to want the um, add plot. So the simple moving average. I want the 20, so you go to the just moving average. Um, just go to any of these, that's fine. And then go to edit. And then 20. And then I use gray for that. Okay, and then that's all I keep on my, uh, my 15 minute chart. I don't get too carried away with too many indicators, guys. It just clutters your charts. Uh, that's it's up to you, but that's if you could take a little piece of advice, that's what I would do. Uh, so now let's go to the daily chart. Now I'm going to start putting in some some more indicators. Now on my daily chart, I don't put the 20 on. I put uh, besides the uh, uh, couple exponential moving averages that I have, my simple moving averages I use quite a bit of. So we're going to use a simple 50. Okay. And then I need a simple 200. We're going to go 200 is very important. I changed that one to red. Now for the, for the simples, you want to keep them uh, different from the exponentials. So how you do that is you go back into edit and you change your your line style, okay, to dashes or dots. And that's how I do that. That way you know. It's a nice, quick, simple way, right? You want to make things nice and nice and easy. Okay, now one more exponential average that I put on here, and it's a very short term, I'll use that for, for swing trading, is the, um, the exponential five, okay? And I put that green. Okay. So that's what I use on my on my daily chart. I don't get too too carried away with too many lines, and even this is a little bit much. Um, 
I'd actually prefer to take off the exponential 50, to be perfectly honest with you. I like just using simple moving averages on the uh, on the daily chart. Okay. Um, oh, that's why. Jesus, <laughs> sorry guys, had a little bit of a brain fart. I'm like, why can't I see my five or my nine? There we go. Yeah, just go into here and you can change the period, right? So, okay. So now we have our daily chart set up as well. And for the weekly chart, um, you can add all of these ones in again. I usually keep the weekly chart strictly, um, and I get rid of these. Just right click them. Because the weekly chart I use strictly as support and resistance. That's all I use it for. Okay, that's all I'm looking for are, uh, is a larger scale support and resistance. So that's what I do. Um, I mean, that's up to you. Um, so the, this is how I have my charts, guys. Now, if we look on the left-hand side, uh, we have... Um, the S&P 500. Now, if you want to change this, and this is what I do, so left click on, on the header there, go into easy scans, and then I have a whole bunch of uh, scans that are already pre-made. There's some that are uh, existing. Um, you can also, if you just go to all, there's all sorts of stuff. You can, you can scan for just the NASDAQs, um, OTCs, I mean, geez, it's just, I mean, you name it, right? So, um, <clears throat> uh, where did I see that? Just one sec here, guys. Hmm. There it is, the Russell 2000. So I, I, I do like using the uh, the Russell 2000 and uh, we're going to want to change this because this just gives your percentage change in the volume buzz. So if you want to change these uh, these columns, uh, I have one that's already set. Right. So um, I, I mean, I can I can change it. Right. So um, replace column set. And I have it under uh, trick. Oh, no, that's not it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this one's a little better. I just have it labeled as my set. So all it gives you is uh, the price, the... Uh, the change. Um, this this is a really this is one of my older my older sets. It gives you the volume here too. I can't remember what uh, what header I have it in, and just for length of of this video, we'll kind of try and keep it really low. So now we have uh, this. Uh, we have our scan of, and it's all linked. Uh, maybe I should point that out here first. Uh, you see these blue boxes. I get this question quite a bit. It's like, how do I um, have different charts on? Just left click that and then go to not linked. Okay. And then when you click on this, this is how you link all these charts, right? So I, I do want to turn that back on though. Okay. Now I want to pull up some watch lists in here. Okay. So. Um, we'll go to my personal watch lists and I'm going to pull up my trick trades main. And then how do I get that to go in here? See this little, this little cursor, move window key, left click that. And then left click on the aerial arrow and it'll come down. So now we have that. Now we're going to want some more. Don't worry. We'll, we'll scoot that over. So watch list, I want one more. 
because for my uh, my trading room I have a, uh, a low priced and a main watch list so same thing left click it have it underneath okay now we have that um, now let's do let's do an easy scan now I got one more watch list here I gotta put on it's my uh, my swing so they were in a, a swing trading service as well so now we have all of these I mean you can put in as, as many as you want right guys so let's move that over um, you can always move those back it's no big deal just move stuff around to where it's comfortable so now you have a, a basic setup right and this is how we uh, we keep things organized and we're able to see things uh, nice and easy when we're when we're looking through trying to do a um, a watch list. So let's go through. See now you see how how nice it is, right? Like we have our entry day, our 15 minute, with which gives us our overall uh, short term trend, our daily chart, which is of course important, and our long term um, support and resistance. Um, weekly chart uh, that that's what I use it for and it just really helps uh, focus all of those candles into a nice tight little package you can see the support and resistance uh, sometimes a lot easier right like this area is this and you see how it just sticks out like a sore thumb how uh, QUAD is tapping into resistance right now could be a very nice short or if it goes above that we'll catch a nice long on it so um, definitely a nice little um, um, a little setup here. Also, I do want to show you guys something. Now, let's say you want a monthly chart that's nice and easy to access. Okay, come over here and you see this little arrow, this little drop down tab. Left click that. Go to new tab. Okay, now we got a new tab. So you can put news, um, watch list, easy scan, your alerts window, and you can even you can even split this if you wanted to, okay? But we're going to go to chart. And we'll go to a um, uh, the same thing here. It's just a, yeah, we'll go to black VWAP only because the VWAP won't show up. So now under there, switch it to the monthly, okay? There. Now we have a monthly chart. And you see how it's tabbed? There, we got our weekly. We got our monthly and you can put as many tabs as you want, right? So um, if you want some other time frames, I would suggest just leaving it in the bottom right hand corner and you're, you're good to go. Also, if you want some drawing tools uh, instead of taking away from your chart like this and opening that up like that, let's go to tools, left click that, go to oops, left click that and go to drawing tools. Now this box will show up, okay? Now, where can we put it? So let's go to the little cursor, left click that. And now you can put it all the way off to the side or we can put it in between. Let's put it in between, okay? There we go. Now, obviously you gotta scoot that down, right? And I keep it as compressed as, as possible. Now you gotta move things around a little bit here. There you go. So now you have all of your drawing tools right there. You have your charts and you can move these around any which way you want. Right. So if you if you if your daily chart um, or, you know, because we don't use a weekly chart all the time, I mean, we can we can scoot that down a little bit and we can have a, a bigger 15 minute chart or you can switch the time frames around to whatever works for you. Right. So, OK, guys, uh, I hope that helped you out. Um, there's some pretty good information in there. Uh, make sure to come check us out at tricktrades.com. Um, we're here to help. Um, really, uh, really look forward to, to meeting you guys. Uh, we're a different kind of room. We um, uh, we really focus on education, education, first and foremost. Fuck all that alert bullshit. 
um, it, it doesn't work. So if you're sick and tired of dealing with uh, too many sharks in the industry that just aren't giving you the information that you really need and, and, and you pay for, uh, come check us out. Uh, you'll see that we're different. And as soon as you come in, I know you'll be hooked. So check us out at tricktrades.com. Uh, there'll be links down below. And make sure to like, share, and subscribe, people. Thanks.